React. Pretty hot topic in the web dev world right now. As a mobile developer, React was first brought to my attention as it's the foundation for the framework React Native. Now learning new things excites me, so I decided to hop on the bandwagon and start learning React. To clarify, I have had some small exposure to React, but nothing too crazy. Anyways, I wanted to see how long it would take me to learn React. The question is, how do I measure my learning? At what point can I say that I've learned React? I think this is pretty subjective, but here's how I'm going to quantify my learning. Over the next seven days, I'll be building a website that uses all the React features that I'm interested in. This includes components, state, Redux, routing, and hooks. I also plan on implementing features such as ES6, a database, and authentication. Anyways, the day was February 2nd, 2021. I sat myself down in front of my computer, just like any regular day, and I did what all programmers love to do. I started watching programming tutorials. All right, so it's been a little under two days since I started. For reference, today is February 4th, uh, 2021. I technically started this February 2nd, so. So I quickly wanna talk about how I'm gonna be learning. A few months ago, I actually made a stupid video titled Buying a Udemy Course Be Like, where I basically made a joke about how Udemy always runs a sale, and when you do buy a course, it kinda just sits there forever. Anyways, in that video, I, I actually bought a React course. So in an effort to not waste my money, I'm just gonna start there, I guess. And so far, I've watched hours and hours of React course content, and holy shit, I'm f***ing bored. Now, the course isn't bad. The course is actually pretty good, and, uh, you know, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning about ES6, spread operators, rest operators, understanding, understanding JSX, components, state, state dynamic components. content. So, yeah, I am learning a lot, uh, but I'm just, I'm so bored of watching videos and tutorials. I mean, as you probably know, I mean, they're not the most thrilling thing, to be honest. The fun part is actually coding. So I think I've consumed enough course material to at least get started. Uh, so that's what I decide that I'm going to do. I'm going to start working on my website. And the website that I'm going to be creating is a blog. Not because I think my life is interesting. Uh, to be honest, I just sit at a computer all day. But I'm actually going to blog uh, my day-to-day -day in learning React. So I'm going to blog these next few days on my website of me learning React. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on for the next few days. And uh, I'll check in when I have something to show. I spent the next 16-ish hours building the foundation of my blog. I used the knowledge that I gained from the React course to help get me started. I set up the folder structure of my application, made a very professional design of the flow of the app, and built the home screen for the blog. During this time, I really dived deep into understanding components, props, and state. I also hooked up my application to a backend. Good morning, you beautiful people. So currently it's February 5th, it's 7.57 in the morning. <clears throat> Excuse my raspy voice, I just woke up. So technically I'm in the middle of day three. Um, at five o'clock today, it'll be the 72 hour mark. Anyways, I wanna show you what I did yesterday. All right, so here it is, nothing special to be honest. I spent yesterday just laying out the components, setting up the project, um, and creating a, a responsive website. So this is kind of the general look and feel of how my uh, my React app is going to look. So naturally, as an Android developer, I found a Material Design-esque library to help me lay out this project. Anyways, that's it. So you see my blog items here. I have my first day learning React. Eventually, I'll be able to click this and you'll be able to uh, see a full detail screen. Then I have this featured blog item, which is just uh, the latest post for me. Also, this data here, this isn't hard coded in the React app. This is actually coming from a back end. So to make things simple, I just hooked up the React app to a simple uh, Firebase back end. And this is actually in real time. So if I update, let's say, day two, right, this day two title here. If you look at the day two item right here, if you watch the title, I can update this to day two, yay. Uh, update that. So it, it is connected to a real-time database, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is what I've managed to accomplish since I started making my own website. Uh, nothing special, but I think I'm definitely making some good progress. I'm definitely happy that I stopped watching the Udemy course lectures and just started making my own app because for me, this is the way that I learned the best. So anyways, I'll check back in once I have something cooler to show. The next four days, I put in a ton of work. My goal was to learn and apply Redux and routing into the application. I also wanted to implement user authentication and build an interactive portion of the blog in the form of a comment section. Whenever I got stuck, I did what all good programmers do. I resorted to Google. Hello and welcome back to me wearing blue light blocking glasses to look cool. So it's been a long time since we've talked, um, probably only a couple seconds for you, but 
Anyways, uh, I've completed the site. I've completed my blog. So for reference, today is February 9th at 6.13 p.m. So in total, it's a little over seven days, but I'm going to kind of conclude my learning here because I finished the blog and I've pretty much learned everything that I think I need to learn to get started making React apps. So without rambling too much, let me just go ahead and show you what I managed to accomplish in these seven days. All right, so here's the site. This is the page that you saw last time. The difference now is you can actually click these blog items and you're redirected to a detail page. So in the detail page, I just it's the blog content here. Uh, we have this other post section. And the coolest part, at least to me, is the uh, comment section here. So yeah, it's completely reactive and all that jazz. Uh, actually, the blog is on my website, kgunderman.com, which you will be able to go to after this video is posted. So yeah, this is the detail page. I implemented this auth feature that actually connects to uh, Firebase authentication. For simplicity's sake, you can only sign in with your Google account. So if I go ahead and do that, I logged in and now I can leave a comment. So um, I'm going to go ahead and leave a spicy comment. And it shows in the comment section. So each blog, there's a different comment section, obviously. And uh, yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to accomplish in this video. I wanted to build a website with React, something that used all the cool React features. And uh, that's what I did. So in seven days, I managed to complete my goal and make a website using all the React features that I listed in the start of the video. Now, as you saw, day one and two was mostly just watching tutorials, and then the rest of the time, I actually built a website, and whenever I got stuck, I found additional resources online. And that's pretty much the TLDR of how I learned React in seven days. At the time of this video's release, the website will still be available at kgunderman.com. You can go check it out there. I'm not sure how much longer I'll have it available, because I am paying for monthly hosting on that. But if for some reason it's not there by the time you watch this, the code will still live in my GitHub. You can go check that out. I'll put the link in the description for that. Anyways, that is the story all about how I learned React while coding upside down. Now, I quickly want to clarify that I'm not considering myself an expert on React by any means. I realize that I'm still a complete beginner when it comes to React, but the goal wasn't to become an expert on React in seven days. That's unrealistic. The goal was to pretty much be comfortable enough so that if someone actually came up to me and was like, hey, Kenny, I want you to build a website using React for me, I'd be like, I bet I got you fam. So yeah, I do realize I'm still a complete beginner when it comes to React, but if I were to work on a real project, I know I would figure out any issues or challenges that came along. Now, could you go from zero programming knowledge to learning React and getting a job or working on real React projects in seven days? Probably not. The thing is, I feel like I was able to catch on pretty quickly, I guess, because of my other experience with other technologies and tech stacks that I've used in the past. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, it'd be super dope if you could like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.